Welcome to The Wedding Show on Central Valley Talk. I'm your host, Bina Campos, and this show is brought to you by Vicky and Bina Photography. On today's show, we have Julia Cantu from Sacred Skin Care. Welcome, Julia. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's so nice to have you. So, Julia, I have a photography business, and every time that we meet with clients, we always have the brides always asking us, to, can I, where can I find a great make, uh, makeup artist? And we do work with some really great people, but I want to hear a little bit about you, what you do, how long you've been doing this, and just share some information with our brides. Sure, I would love to. Uh, well, as far as makeup artistry, I'm a pr professional makeup artist, and I use uh, Rouge Bunny Rouge is one of the makeup lines I carry, and then I also use Temp2, uh, which is an airbrush makeup. So I've been doing makeup for over 15 years now. Oh, nice. uh, and uh, I love beauty. I love making women look and feel beautiful, especially for their special day. Yes. And, you know, there are some important reasons why you want to have a professional makeup artist do your makeup for your wedding. Um, for one, you'll look amazing. Yes. <laughs> and uh, it'll stay on. It'll stay on all day. Uh, and so you're not going to have to worry about, oh, is my makeup still on? You know, at the end of the at the end of the night, um, you will have to touch up like your lipstick and lip gloss. You know, if you're eating things like that. But uh, for the most part, your skin, your makeup will stay on. And so that's the important reason why you want to have a professional makeup artist like myself because the products that I'm using are specifically made to withhold and stand lights, photography yes. all day. Uh, and so those are um, just a few of the reasons why you'd want to give me a call. Yeah. And so what's the difference between like airbrush and then just applying makeup with just a brush? Which one do you recommend? It depends on the skin type. Okay. And so um, sometimes I even layer them. Oh, okay. So yeah, it depends on the skin, if someone's dry or oily uh, or um, just very uh, large pores. So it really depends on their skin and their texture. Um, and then I choose which makeup will look the best uh, for them and stay on all day. And so I use both. Oh, okay, good. Mm -hmm. I've seen some infomercials where they're doing the airbrush mm -hmm. and they're uh, their skin looks flawless. It's just perfect for pictures. I just didn't know how it does. It looks beautiful, but so does the other makeup that I use as well, okay. as, far, as far as liquids and creams, um, because it's the finish that makes a big difference. Uh, I have a beautiful powder um, that I use that is a completely translucent powder um, by Rouge Bunny Rouge, and um, when you put it over any makeup, just or even alone your skin just looks flawless. It just makes everything look so smooth, poreless, and it's beautiful, and it's not, it's non-reflective, so it looks great in pictures. Uh, it's a really beautiful powder, so I, I use those over both of those types of makeup. That's great mm -hmm. to hear. So, do you stay with the bride all day long to just keep touching up the makeup if they need it, or is that like an additional thing that you offer? Would you just kind of give them a little bit of tips and tricks that they can do throughout the day? Well, I do both. Okay. So generally, um, I do a bride you know, before her wedding, and um, I will give her lip gloss or lipstick. Um, she can get them from me. I, I sell uh, makeup and lip gloss and things. So we usually do that in advance. Uh, or I have some brides that really just want me there all day, and then I just charge extra for that. Um, per hour um, for touch-ups oh, okay. throughout the day and I kind of just stay sort of behind the scenes I just look like a guest yeah you know <laughs> and uh, have my you know little bag with the um, touch-up products and then I'll just sneak in and kind of quickly touch her up throughout the day especially during her pictures okay. um, so yes I offer that as well thank you for asking do you do everyone's makeup or do you have a team that goes with you on the day of their wedding to do like the bridesmaids makeup or the mother of the bride or anything like that I do work with a few other professional makeup artists okay. so if uh, the party is five or more I do uh, bring on other makeup artists okay. to help me and they are also local and also very experienced and they also do beautiful work and so I'll just bring them along with me and we'll work together on that so that's never a problem I can usually find um, a makeup artist that's available um, I've been in the industry for a very long time and I'm also um, an esthetician oh, so goodness. I didn't um, 
I don't think we've talked about that yet. No. Um, one of the things that I offer is I do packages with skincare and the makeup. Okay. So if you wanted to do uh, come in the day before and get a lifting facial to lift the muscles in your face and then add like an oxygen infusion to plump up all the fine lines and firm and tone your skin so it just looks beautiful even without makeup. Now would you do that the day before your wedding or would you do it a couple of days before you, your wedding? Uh, it could be either or. Okay. It could be a few days before or just a day before or, or just a few days because those those facials and treatments they last about seven to ten days oh, as nice. far as mm -hmm. the way um, the lifting and the firming and the toning, it lasts for about 10 days, so that it'll be beautiful even on the honeymoon. And so those are packages that are included with the makeup, so then they can come in and, and get their makeup done as well. So I have uh, three different packages, um, including skin care treatments for beautification, you know, like a spa treatment that's also very relaxing which is really important for brides. Yeah, so why not? I mean, why not go and get yourself all pampered before your wedding day? So yeah, I think that's a great yeah. service to provide as well. Um, I see that we have a website for you that we can show some of your images. Yes, uh, okay. my website is juliacantu.com. Okay. And if you go on the website, there are some pictures of brides that I've done. Uh, and there's also um, a little tab where you um, can click on makeup artistry and that will go over all of my pricing, uh, all of uh, some questions that you may have under the bridal uh, artistry section. So um, there's a lot of information on there. I invite you to take a look at that. And um, I also do eyebrow waxing and eyebrow design. Okay. So that's really important uh, as well. So if they Can want to come and do a that. a group of gals like the bridal Party. Can they come to your office and just have a day of pampering, or is it just for the bride, or do they have to set an appointment for just one person, or can it be five people? I am by appointment only, okay. and uh, generally I only do one person at a time, okay. but I have done parties where we just set up set it up to where um, it's not so much everyone's just laying down under the blankets. We're more sitting with masking, okay. um, sipping champagne, and, and having more of a good time. So that's also, I can also do that. So I will customize for my clients okay. um, whatever uh, they need. I can work with them. And so where are you guys located? I'm on Sean Fruit. Okay. Uh, it's near Fit Garden. It's a 1455 West Shaw. And um, my phone number is 559-709-0480. And I invite you to give me a call. You can text that number. Uh, or, um, oh, what would be great if you went on my Facebook page, Julia Kentu Sacred Skincare, and liked the page. Uh, there's a lot of information on there as well. I post Good. specials and different things. I was going to ask you about that. Do you have like an Instagram page or a Facebook I do. page that people can go on? And, and the, they're the same. So Instagram is at Julia Kentu Sacred Skincare. And Facebook is Julia Kentu Sacred Skincare as well. Uh, and if you go on that Facebook page, I have an event coming up. It's on November 6th. Okay. It's a Sunday from 12 to 4. It is a workshop. It's called The Art of Sacred Beauty. And uh, that is going to entail um, basics into skincare and basics into the foundations of makeup. Okay. So you'll learn, you know, uh, basic skincare um, practices and um, toners and uh, primers for your skin and makeup, foundations, concealers, how to apply them. Uh, and it'll be a hands on workshop. Very good. I, I was going to yeah, ask about so that. That's good. So I know like for dry skin, oily skin, will you be touching on those points too? Like yes, what products yes, I to will. use for that? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. We'll be doing, um, we'll be also doing a mask um, during this workshop. Uh, and uh, so we'll do, be doing a little bit of skincare, talking about ingredients and things. Uh, and I also have um, someone coming in to talk about nutrition. Okay. Uh, and so she's a nutritionist and um, just to, to get, um, get you on the right track because it's, it's very important what you're eating is going to show on your skin. Your skin yeah. uh, and so it's an all-encompassing work, workshop in that it's going to cover um, inner beauty as well. So we'll be, yeah. I'll be teaching some breathing te techniques um, and some meditation and just kind of diving into what beauty really is and what it means to you 
-hmm. and um, a, a healthy um, belief system. That's good. And they can find all this information on your website, correct? On my website and on my Facebook page. Okay, awesome. Well, Julia, thank you so much for being thank here you. on the show with us today. And like I said, if you are a bride who is looking to find a makeup artist, make sure you go on to Julia Cantu's Facebook page, Instagram page, give her a call or find her on her website. Okay, so Central Valley Talk is really happy to have you as a viewer. Make sure that you tune in every Monday at 3 o'clock. We're live.